Sheila, 410, it looks like you're one of the first people out of the final. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, I don't deserve to be there. I was kind of watching, you know, not hoping for anything to go wrong, obviously, but uh, hoping for things to go my way a little bit. But um, yeah, 410 and that performance doesn't belong in the semi. Um, and uh, I was hoping for a lot better. And, uh, you know, two weeks ago, I would have said, you know, final, no question, is where I should be. But um, for the last, you know, week and a half, um, I've been a little sick and uh, uh, dropping too much weight this close to the race is never a good idea. So, um, yeah, I just didn't have any energy in my body at all. But try, I, I tried. <laughs> How much did you lose for the sickness? Um, I was down, like three pounds when I checked, um, but yeah, I mean, this kind of thing happens to a lot of people, and that's why I was kind of encouraged coming in, you know, I know some people when they travel or they're in foreign countries, they are not used to food or get food poisoning and stuff, and um, so hearing those stories was super encouraging, and why I came into this with uh, as positive an attitude as I could, but um, yeah, it was what it was, I tried uh, working out uh, a couple days ago, and uh, didn't my legs didn't feel like they usually do. Um, yeah, it, it it happens. And again, I I wasn't a contender, but for me, my goals and you know how I want to keep progressing. Uh, God, I really want to be that final. Yeah. Talk about the year as a whole. I mean, you got down to 402. Do you think you found your home in the 1500? I mean, last year it was 5,000. Yeah. Um, I mean, the 5,000 wasn't entirely by choice. It was kind of by default. Um, you know, it's the only standard in which I could appeal to be on a team. So, uh, and that still wasn't easy, but I had no hope of appealing in the 15. So, uh, my heart's in the 15, and then I think that the jump between the 15 and the 5K is too great to, uh, uh, to you know, take lightly. So, uh, it's really important for me to get my 1500 down. Because Dababa, you know, she can close a 5K in an A standard 1500 pace. And I think that's something that a lot of uh, Western runners kind of take for granted. You know, it's not enough to to be really aerobically fit and, you know, clock off Ks. You got you have to be able to close. Like, you have to be able to close in under 60. So, uh, for now, you know, I really need to get my 1500 down uh, and maybe hit some 3Ks every once in a while. But I think eventually I'm going to have to move up because uh, my 800 is so hot. But, yeah. What, can you talk a little bit about the training situation where you've been? I know you, you've been working with Terrence. And, and were you with them in London at all or England? Um, yeah, I, I was in England, uh, you know, kind of based there for Europe, and uh, which is awesome. I got to train with Morgan. And, uh, you know, she's coming along really well, and I can't wait for her to pop a good one. I think that's all it's going to take for her, and um, Anna's coming around. And um, Yeah, I think it's difficult, though, just being a nomad. Like, I'm in Canada, I'm in Philly, I'm in Loughborough. And, uh, you know, it's always more comfortable when you have kind of a home base, and I don't think I've had that in a while. Not that that's a reason for, like, that performance, you know, I'm not going <laughs> to excuse that, but, um, yeah, I definitely need to find a little more permanence, a little more stability in my training situation, for sure. Do you, do you, do you have a, I mean, would you rather be in the States, would you rather be in the group, or? I really thrived in a team environment at Villanova, um, you know, whether it was them, uh, pushing me or me pulling them, you know, I think it was really, really good for me and uh, really helped me progress, especially when they're, you train with people who are better than you. Um, so, and I get that with Morgan and Anna for sure and Jen, um, but getting that year round is a lot different. I don't, you know, I don't feel like I was lacking that, there, that I needed that indoors, um, but I also wasn't training very hard and not many people participate in indoors, so, uh, you, you know, you don't need to be pushed on a daily basis, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just kind of spitballing here, you know. I'm not. I'm not like looking to, to yeah. maybe change right now or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Cool. Well, uh, what do you? What are you